Koto Chana here, and today we're back with a new video. This video is going to be on all of my watches, my watch collection here. So let me just uh, say these are in no particular order, but I will tell you a uh, thing about each of them. Okay, so first up we have this uh, unbranded watch from, uh, it's a Walmart watch. It's not a smart watch in any way or anything, but um, it works just fine. Um, it's nice. Uh, it features a like metal band here, um, and I think it was like fourteen dollars or something, eyebrow raisingly cheap. All right. Next up, we have this Pebble. Um, this is a uh, just an original uh, Pebble, and it unfortunately boot loops. This was my watch from about twenty fourteen to 2016 and then here I can show you what happens when I plug it in hold on anyways now I have the charger um you're gonna see in a second that they, obviously this is not my uh current setup but you'll see you'll I'll tell you why uh in a couple of minutes well not a couple of minutes but I'll record the video in a couple of minutes but basically uh yeah I had to move rooms so yeah here all right, so now it's plugged into this known to work uh, ZTE charger, and let's get the pebble here. And yep, it boot loops. It just says that. I've kept it plugged in for days upon days, and literally nothing ever happens to it. So, yeah. But, alright, on to the next smartwatch. We're on to the next watch. Next up is the Higher Iron smartwatch. This, is, this fully works, um, and it's pretty great. I really like it. So yeah, it's booted up now. Also, it makes the old Android sound when you turn it on and off, so that's cool. It's trying to connect to the Moto G5 Plus over there. That's gonna happen. Since I factory resetted it. That does say it's paired to something. What is it paired to? Come on. Bluetooth connection. Come on. Still trying to get used to the, a the UI of this. <laughs> Just save the picture of myself. That's great. Options. Delete. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Apparently I can't delete. Alright, it just took a while. Yeah, so this thing does have a camera, so that's pretty cool. Let me just turn the brightness down so you can see these icons a little bit better. There you go. Yeah, as you can see. Oh. Oh, it's connected to the my Galaxy S9. Okay, that's what I'm recording on, so. Alright, so yeah, it fully works and whatever, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Next, this was used after the Pebble broke in 2016 from to about my birthday in 2018 when I got... This, this is the Huawei Smartwatch 2. This is an excellent smartwatch and is my daily driver to this day. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I thought there was going to be sneeze, but there wasn't. Okay, um, yeah, this is my daily driver. I've had it for a little over a year now. Excellent smartwatch, um, running on the latest version of Wear OS. You can see that because I have tiles. All right, great. Another article about Trump, if there weren't already like 20 million articles about Trump. Uh, whatever. Um, and then finally, this is not a G-Shock watch, actually. This is a Casio Vibration Alarm uh, watch. Uh, it works completely fine. It does show the right time and the right day, so that's right. 
And yeah, it's waterproof, but so is the Huawei watch. Uh, and yeah. So that's going to be it for this video, but um, make sure to stay tuned. I have phone updates. Uh, I have uh, a new phone, a new mystery phone from things. And the fact that I went to Target yesterday and didn't find anything. But so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one.